So you can see the kind of diversity that comes out of here. Uh, this facility is known as the Suwannee Valley Agricultural Extension Center and it, its focus here is to try to uh, do as much outreach as we can to help with uh, gardeners and commercial residents to improve their landscape and gardening activities. Well, the event today is to help give a practical application to homeowners and master gardeners. We tell them to scout, but we don't show them how to scout, so it's an opportunity for them to do field work. IPM scouting is integrated pest management where you go out and you look for insect populations, determine the thresholds, and then make a determination on whether you're going to eradicate those pests or tolerate them. Well, I know some folks who have a garden that's about a quarter of this size. And the four stations that we have today are cover crops and then we have a, a scouting activity where they'll go out and collect the insects. When the people go out to the field, the idea is for them to see the amount of insects activity that are out there and realize that a good percentage of those insects that are active are beneficial or pollinating insects. And so uh, they're going to learn how to properly scout, they're going to learn how to properly uh, net and identify the insects by taking them back into the lab and sitting down in the lab under a microscope and seeing what those insects are. He has not sprayed an insecticide in the soil in three years. And then the last station is a, a trolley tour where we're looking at all of these, these practices being implemented on the farm. Has anybody seen any stink bugs yet other than that first one that, that flew off? A good way to keep stink bugs out of your garden is to plant sunflowers along the perimeter on the edge and particularly you want to plant the gigantus sunflower variety and what happens is that plant will emit chemicals, specific chemicals that attract the leaf-footed bugs in particular and those bugs will go to that plant instead of going to your good plants in the garden. Well one of the things we wanted to accomplish with the homeowners today is to reduce pesticide spraying in the home landscape at the same time by showing that we're doing this on a farm level it's showing that you know we're asking you to do it, but we're also asking farmers to do it. And if we all do this together, we can create better ecosystems. Mm -hmm.